This morning, the family of Gabby Petito, the woman killed by her fiancé on a cross-country road trip in 2021, has released a new photo of the 22-year-old showing smeared blood and cuts on her face. They say the photo was taken not long before this exchange with police in Moab, Utah. Did you get hit in the face? Attorneys for the family say the selfie was found on Gabby's phone after she was found dead in Wyoming. They say it was taken just minutes before a stranger called 911 to report seeing Gabby being hit by her fiance, Brian Laundrie. Did he slap your face or what? Like he like grabbed me like with his nail and I guess that's why it was, I definitely have a cut right here. It's like a peel yeah. it's cut through the ferns. Officers decided not to press charges. Instead, they separated the two for the night. In November, her family filed a $50 million wrongful death suit against Moab police. They say this new photo proves officers did not do enough to protect Gabby. Gabby took a photograph of her injury, which shows blood across her nose and left eye. Gabby pointed out the injury to Officer Pratt, but he ignored her and did nothing more to investigate or document the injury. Moab police standing by the officers. Gabby's parents now fighting for change. They spoke last month after the Utah Senate passed a bill that would require officers to conduct an 11 question assessment when responding to domestic violence calls. We do believe if it was used in Gabby's case that she would still be here because we think she would have answered those questions differently. Brian Laundrie died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound after writing in a notebook he killed Petito. That Utah domestic violence bill now heads to the House for final approval. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.